Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be all about housing rabbits outdoors. Now I've housed my rabbits outdoors for several years now. In fact, ever since I've got them, they've been outdoors. So I feel like I've learned quite a lot in this time as to what works and what doesn't. So overall, I think having rabbits outdoors is super great. It's really good for encouraging natural behaviours, fantastic for ensuring they're getting plenty of vitamin D. It is a really great lifestyle for rabbits if you can, you know, be mindful of the potential problems and issues with keeping rabbits outdoors because obviously with all great things there do come various risks but these can certainly be avoided. So first of all I'm going to talk about potential predators. Now you may already know the obvious such as birds of prey and foxes but other animals such as weasels can be an issue for rabbits. Now, I personally kept my rabbits outdoors and free ranging in a garden before and we had various different sheltered areas. In fact we very rarely got birds of prey anywhere near our house so it wasn't really a risk for us but certainly now I'm in a more rural area that is not a risk I would be prepared to take because there's many other predators and birds could be a potential issue in wide open spaces. So also foxes are a potential issue because foxes can even access you know the more urban areas so foxes are also quite destructive and they can get in places you maybe wouldn't think they could. Even if you do free range your rabbits outdoors I would say 100% make sure they are locked away somewhere safe at night and I think this is so important because although it might be safe to free range them during the day, during the night time you're probably more likely to get predators such as foxes. Weasels can find you know really small spaces, they can squeeze through them and you know they can really go for rabbits, they go for chickens, you know they are again very destructive so I would say if you have concerns or you're in a high risk area for that sort of thing then use a fine mesh, make sure your rabbits are in a safe environment. So obviously rabbits are pretty hardy animals and not to the point where you could take them from a central heated house in the middle of winter and then just put them outside. They're not, you know, that adaptable but for the most part they do cope really well with the cooler temperatures and as long as they have a safe, draft free and damp free place to shelter then they will most likely be fine, especially if they have a companion, it's going to help keep them insulated and they do like to snuggle together. If you get a really hot day, rabbits can get something called heat stroke, which is very serious, in fact life threatening. So I would say to have some part of the enclosure which they can keep shaded and out of the sun. Another problem in the summer is fly strike. So if they are outdoors, really keep on top of hygiene as much as you can. And this isn't just known to happen in summer, it could happen really any time of the year, but the flies are definitely more abundant in the summer. There's also potential issues with rats and mice getting in there and obviously you know contaminating feeds and stuff so I would say try and keep any dried feeds out of reach so obviously you can't really do much about hay and stuff like that. If you're really concerned you can go for a finer mesh to ensure they don't get in but for the most part I would just say don't leave dry food lying around. So rabbits are quite the escape artists if they want to be so not only do you want to keep the enclosure secure for potential predators but also to ensure your rabbits don't escape because let's be honest none of us want an escaping rabbit so obviously if you are thinking about all aspects of the enclosure I would definitely also think about the ground you know foxes can actually dig in to a rabbit's enclosure so burying mesh underneath the enclosure is super important if you have them in an aviary as such or if you have them in a shed or playhouse this isn't going to be an issue obviously. So I highly recommend that you have somewhere for them to shelter 
so this could include you know a hutch could include a shed joined onto an aviary or even a little playhouse joined onto an aviary Now you can weatherproof your rabbit's enclosure if you want to, if you have an aviary, you can use corrugated plastic to protect it from the harsh weather conditions. If you're somewhere where it gets a lot of rain or even wind, you can actually board the aviary with perspex. Certain breeds are more prone to having trouble with keeping their fur dry such as lion heads, angoras. Be mindful of the breed of your rabbit and ensure that they can cope well with all these weather conditions and if not try and go for somewhere for something a bit more sheltered. I would say also with keeping rabbits outdoors it's super important to keep on top of monitoring them. It's a lot easier if your rabbits are indoors to monitor their health so take the time to make sure they are acting behaving normal and just being themselves that is going to be a really good habit to get into checking them each day making sure they are eating normal behaving normal they're getting on well you know wild rabbits can pass on the diseases that rabbits are prone to such as myxomatosis if your rabbits are in contact with wild rabbits if they are in a rural area or you you know you have them in an aviary where they could be in contact with wild rabbits then i would say it's important to be really on the ball with vaccinations a lot of people ask me about the type of substrate which is best for a rabbit's habitat and it really depends you know how exposed it is to the weather conditions i found that any habitats which are exposed to like rain and snow and stuff like that then I found what worked really well is having soil topped with a deep layer of hemp bedding but what I find works even better is bark chips because these are super good at drying out quickly and if you have a layer of soil underneath it will just go and soak through there so I find that works really well and maybe top it up once twice a year or so or you know completely replenish the bedding but obviously make sure that it's being spot cleaned enough honestly if you can keep your rabbits outdoors i think it's a great thing to do mine absolutely love the outdoors and i know for them it certainly suits them well whereas other rabbits can be well suited to being housed indoors it really just depends and also depends on how much space you have really because i think this is super important if you have more space outdoors then trying to create a habitat outdoors may work better for you then again you may have more space indoors and that may work too but those are my tips for keeping them outdoors and yeah hope you guys have enjoyed this video and i will see you guys soon bye